What's good YouTube? We're back on here with another video and if you guys missed my last video I talked about the WNBA and how there's no such thing as a wage gap and yo shout out to you guys for showing so much love on that video I really really do appreciate it and you guys already know the vibes man big second channel vibes and today we're gonna be talking about the Timberwolves man I really want to get this going with a lot of NBA teams and if you guys missed it on my main channel I have talked about the Timberwolves and so many other teams before I'll link the playlist and the video in the description below I've already talked about the Timberwolves but that was before they got the number one overall pick and you know with the NBA draft coming up in the next few weeks it's like a month away around there I think it's good for me to actually start talking about this because the Timberwolves are in a really weird situation so if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you go ahead and drop a like on it go ahead and subscribe turn on post notifications and if you guys want to see daily videos check out the main channel as well and yeah man we're gonna try to be going daily on this channel to just give me some content ideas in the comment section below but obviously the Timberwolves are in a really really weird situation I mean obviously they got Cat. They got D'Lo. We barely seen those guys really play together. They also have Malik Beasley. They have Jared Culver, who is kind of iffy. James Johnson. There are so many pieces on this team. And I think at this very moment, they're in a really tough position. Because even with the number one overall pick, we've heard rumors about them possibly wanting to trade this draft pick. LaMelo is now at the top of their draft board. Anthony Edwards is sliding off of their draft board. And then there's been rumors about Cat not being happy. So as far as free agency goes, I think first off, they need to make sure that they re-sign Malik Beasley because he's actually a really good shooter. I mean, we barely seen Cat and D-Lo play. I still think that there's a possibility of the Timberwolves making the playoffs next season. I know it sounds crazy, especially in the West, but the pick and roll with Cat and D-Lo, the pick and roll, the pick and pop can be extremely deadly because those two guys would thrive especially if we possibly have a different system like yeah there's a lot of potential on this team however it's been said that cat wants to win right now and i completely understand that the timberwolves are a team without a really good culture and i have to say that like they do not have a really good culture at all they have almost no veteran leadership there they have no winning culture and they are playing with a head coach with no experience this team is honestly a recipe for a complete disaster and that's coming from a timberwolves fan this team is not set up to win anything so i'm not sure what they want to do of course there are rumors about them being afraid of using the number one overall draft pick and wanting to trade down and just trade the pick in general which to me that report even getting out shows a lack of confidence in your scouts and your upper management now granted they're right to be scared minnesota has whiffed on draft picks a lot i mean cat worked out wiggins kind of look look, look. i'm gonna make a video talking about wiggins soon man i live streamed yesterday and people asked me about wiggins you know, we got to stop the Wigan slander. That was not even a bad trade. Minnesota drafting Johnny Flynn and, and Ricky Rubio over Stephen Curry. Doing, taking Tarek Williams with the second overall pick. Yo, this team has whipped on some draft. Taking Jarrett Cover. Guys, I was tweeting Minnesota last draft. I've seen Jarrett Cover play live multiple times since he was a freshman in college. I was like, Jarrett Cover is going to be a decent player. Do not draft him with that, with, with that top pick. Do not do it because at, at best, at best, in the best case scenario, you're getting a role player. Like I said the same thing about DeAndre Hunter as well. And some of those guys have, have qualities about them that says, okay, they might be trash, but they have the potential of being amazing, which is why I was campaigning for Minnesota to actually take Cameron Reddish. Now Reddish started off really, really slow, but at least you see potential with Cam as far as shooting goes scoring goals and he's still going to be a good defender culver on the other hand uh, no you do not see that he can't shoot and i don't even think that even if he got a jump shot he's going to ever be a superstar or even an all-star so that's another whiff and they even feel that he's a bust as well i just think that minnesota first off if i was minnesota the number one thing that you try to do you try to go after devin book you have to try to trade for an all-star booker is not going to be available like but you at least have to shoot your shot because it's still the number one overall pick. Try getting Bradley Beal. Try getting any all-star possible. Well, not just any all-star. Try getting one of those upper all-stars on your team. Somebody so that Cat does not leave you guys in the future. If you cannot find that, then I would look at possibly trading down in this year's draft. Maybe to like pick number five, 
four or five around there. Try to see if you guys can get extra draft picks as far as next year's draft. You know, because the Warriors have your draft pick. It's kind of the same thing as what Dallas did and the Hawks did as far as Luka and Trey Young, where they trade down a few spots to get next year's pick that's like top five protected or something. I think that's something that Minnesota sh should look at doing. Unless take LaMelo Ball, that should be your first option if you ignore everything else that I said. LaMelo Ball, I know that he's a point guard like D'Angelo Russell, but D'Lo can work off ball just fine. And D'Lo's a really good shooter. I don't, know, I don't think that people realize how good of a shooter D'Lo and even James Harden actually are. It's just that they take so many shots off the dribble, which lowers their percentages. But D'Lo is an amazing shooter. Cat is probably the best shooting big man of all time. As far as volume and everything, he's probably one of the best shooting big men of all time. You have that. Getting LaMelo, who at bare minimum, is going to be a Ricky Rubio or Livingston type player. Now, defense is not going to be your calling card, but if you have somebody who motivates Melo, Melo has all of the all of the intangibles to be a good defender. You just got to give him that mindset to. But if you guys do not take LaMelo, I would say you might as well shoot your shot on Denny Avija. If Denny works, great. If he doesn't work, well, at least you tried. But as far as taking Anthony Edwards, who you guys are, are even saying is reminding you guys of Wiggins, and even if he has an insane workout, I said this before, Obi Toppin and, and Edwards will probably start off the best just because of their body size and their age. However, as far as the potential, if Edwards only cares about scoring because people keep on telling me that Edwards is such this amazing defender compared to LaMelo, neither of them play defense. At least I know that one of them is a good passer. Edwards is a bad passer and a bad shooter who actually played at a lower level than LaMelo and Danny as well. Why would I take him? If you guys are showing me that he doesn't even have the mindset or want to win. Hey, say what you want about LaMelo Ball. At least he likes winning games. That's my only thing. And then Denny Abdija also has a really unique aspect as well. He can play, make, score, defend. He is also a really intriguing prospect. I made a video about him as well. Regardless, I like all of those options. Minnesota is in a really weird place. They risk losing Cat, him requesting a trade, even though he, he even though he probably won't do that because you guys just got him, D'Angelo Russell. What is Minnesota's end goal? Because if we're just stacking up contracts and not going anywhere, it's kind of it's kind of pointless. And I think Minnesota needs to get into the right mindset i mean they gotta start winning games it's been you guys haven't won anything since i've been born i think the farthest was like in 2004 with uh kg and then you guys even left kg on bad terms i think glenn taylor needs to sell the team i think changes need, need to be made we need a new front office and i can't lie they have a losing culture there i don't think that they care about winning i mean cat's telling me that like he cares about winning and i can't blame him because he hasn't been in the opportunity to even lead he hasn't even seen good leadership there regardless guys let me know what you guys think about the tim rules and what they should be doing in this off season i don't see them getting a big name free agent i mean maybe demar Derozan, possibly don't trade the, the number one pick for him though but like even demar i wouldn't i wouldn't be opposed to it because demar is low-key a decent player at least he's a veteran who's actually had some kind of success in the east as far as getting to the conference finals numerous times but guys, I want to hear what you guys think about this situation. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Make sure you go ahead and drop a like and go ahead and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm out, guys. Peace.